it's Presley at actoutgames.com here and it's I Am Sunday and today we are going to be showing you our favorite demonstrations that use buoyancy. So buoyancy is whether an object sinks or floats in water and this is because of displacement and an object, say I put this bowling ball into the water, it has to displace, just imagine this bowling ball, same shape made out of water, it has to displace that to fit into the water. So if, and whether or not it sinks or floats is if that thing of water it displaces is heavier than it, then it floats, or if it's lighter than it, then it sinks. So we've marked the tank with some black tape, and we marked where the water up level is right now, and Displacement is the water has to get out of the way, and to get out of the way, the water can't go down because, and it can't go all around sides because the glass is holding it into place. So the only place for it to go is up. So when we put this bowling ball in, we're going to see how much the water level changes, whether it goes up. I th it should go up, but we'll see what happens. Let's see what happens when I put the ball in. And it sinks, and let's see how much the water level has changed. And woof, that's gone up a lot. So the the water displaced went up, and it went above the black tape right here. So so it's pretty cool that this happens. So it's like when you go in the bathtub, the water levels will go up. When we put the bowling ball in the fish tank, the water levels go up. And if you took all the water that's above the tape right now and made it into a ball, it would be the exact same size as the bowling ball that is inside the water right now. So all bowling balls are 27 inches around, and if and when you displace 27 inch around ball of water, then that thing's just a little less than 12 pounds, and the bowling ball we just put in is 12 pounds, so it's heavier than the water that it displaced, so it sinks. And this bowling ball is eight pounds, which is less than the about 12 pounds that it will displace. So it's the same size. So it displaces the same amount of water, but it should float. So let's see what happens. Let's see what happens when we put this one in. So I'm gonna still like place it over there. It doesn't sink to the bottom. Woo! And it floats. So this proves the displacement that we were just talking about. And even though they displace the same amount of water, this one floats and this one sinks because this one is less than the 12 pounds ish that it displaces and this one's more than the 12 pounds ish that it displaces. So it's just really cool how, it's first of all, it's cool how a bowling ball floats. And second of all, it's cool how this one sinks and this one floats and they're the same size. Here's a cool follow up experiment for you to do. And salt water is more dense than not salt water. So if you put a bunch of salt in your tank and you put the 12 ball ball in, it might actually float if you put enough salt in. You try it and let me know what happens. And we were talking about displacement earlier. We said fluid and not particularly liquid. So that means this works with gases too. So we're gonna do an experiment with gases as well. So we cleaned it up and took the water out and now it's empty. That was a test. If you were paying attention, you should know that it's not empty. It's full of air. So we cleaned it up and we took the water out of it. And now we're going to test it on some other fluids. So since air is a fluid, it behaves in the same way. Say if I dropped a bowling ball in here right now, it would displace a 27 inch around sphere of air. And the bowling ball is obviously heavier than the air, so it would go right to the bottom. And if you wanted something to float in the air, it has to be lighter in the air. And that's how helium balloons float, because helium is lighter than air. And it, when you let it go, it floats. And its air is extremely light, so most things are heavier than it, even if I blow a couple bubbles in here. Oops. Even if I blow a couple bubbles in here, they're going to sink and they're going they're going to sink to the bottom. So you could put a heavier gas than air in here, and then stuff that was lighter than that gas would float on that gas. If you watched my visit with Steve Spangler, then we breathed in sulfur hexafluoride, which made our voices really deep because it's heavier than air, and that would be awesome to put in here, but sadly we don't have any of that because it's really expensive and hard to get. But something else that's heavier than air is carbon dioxide, 
it does pretty easy to get in its solid form. So let's check that out. So we got some solid carbon dioxide, also known as dry ice, which is a cool thing you can put in like your drink to make it look like a witch's brew. And it's really awesome. So we're going to take the solid dry ice and we're going to put it into our drink. And we'd also recommend putting a little, we would, also, we would first recommend wearing gloves so you don't get frostbite. And we would also recommend taking a poster board or some cardboard or something and putting it on top of the tank so the air circulating around doesn't take it out of the tank. Dry ice does this cool thing called sublimating and it goes straight from a solid to a gas without turning into a liquid state. But that's another topic for another video, so we'll talk about that probably later. So we're going to let it sublimate, and once the tank is filled with carbon dioxide, we will see you then. So it's been about half an hour and the dry ice has sublimated, and the tank now has some carbon dioxide in it. But you can't see it, but if you like put your hand on the tank down here, it's kind of a cold layer, and if you stick your hand in the tank, it's kind of a cold layer. So let's blow some bubbles in now. Cool, isn't it? If you like, if you like, push it. Whoop! It's just really cool. Oh, look! There's just a bubble that was inside a bubble that was floating. That was the coolest thing that's ever happened in my life. One of the coolest things, probably not the coolest thing. Though. This is a demonstration of how two different fluids will stack on top of each other, and it doesn't have to be like a solid thing, like we did with the bowling balls. It can be like air and carbon dioxide, and it's just so cool. Another homework assignment for you guys is to play around with the stacking of different fluids. And because Steve Spangler has this really cool one with some common household fluids you can find around the house. So we'll put a link in the doobly-doo to that. <laughs> I hope you learned some stuff about buoyancy, density, and displacement. I think these are really cool experiments and I hope you guys can try them out too. So yeah, thank you for watching and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye! It's time to press the subscribe button. A sky button, a sky button, a sky, sky, sky. Bye, 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 bye.